Hey y'all, your girl is back with another trip flip. Just to warn you guys, this video is a complete mess. It's all over the place. So if you don't mind that, then you're welcome to join. Let me get my glasses. Let me explain. As a person that being extremely Asian, I obviously have some Asian issues right now. I can't really see something from the screen because of my eyes and every single time when I try to watch the cameras my eyes go something like this like this like this my eyes are already small enough I don't want to be like like this for my entire videos this helps a lot so I have a bohemian dress that I got from my friends initially I really like this dress I think it's really cute it's somehow look like a dress that my mom will wear even though it was really cute I don't see me wearing it anytime soon well that's why you're getting a drift lips, guys. I'm planning to make it into a two pieces dress. I'll be honest with you, my mind go completely blank right now. I have no preliminary concept on how I'm going to drift flip this clothing, but I think after cutting the top, I will come up with something. I hope. Let's, let's just jump start the video, shall we? Let's go. So the first thing that I did is that I unsew the middle part of the dress to become two piece dress. You got me? Two piece dress. No? Never mind. For the top, I'm trying to recreate this tight front bell sleeve crop top. I really like how they use string to tie up in the front. I think it's super cute. But I decided to leave the sleeve just the way it is because my brain wasn't able to handle too much information. So I cut out a rectangular shape from the fabric and then you need to be extremely careful when you're cutting the fabric because once you cut it, you can't undo... So I was cutting a little bit way larger than how I initially wanted because of my brilliant action. This is how it currently looks like. I'm okay! I'm going to cut the fabric until the sleeve area because I'm planning to put elastic band at the back of the top. Once you make sure that the fabric has sufficient room for the elastic band to stay, I'm going to remove the elastic band and then start sewing in at the edge. Again, take out your safety pin to assist you. Insert it inside the hole that you just created. Fix it in its positions and you're good to go. Then you basically just do the same thing on the sleeve area because obviously you need to make sure that the sleeve doesn't fall down. And for this upward cutting positions, you just gonna do whatever you can to hide it. I don't know how much elastic I actually need in to the straps actually. Because I didn't measure it, so I ended up having two short sleeves that almost show my TV, so I need to do the entire thing all over again. I think I get a little bit way too bored and too much to think at this point so you guys will be getting a story time when I fall for a boy I really fall for a boy I literally fall for a boy physically fall when I was in primary school as a extremely unsporty girl like me having a crush on a sporty guy <sighs> I was trying so hard so there was a hurdle run, you know those hurdles in front of you, you just need to run and then just jump over The teacher blow the whistle I run with the best abilities that I can, like how I run from my responsibilities When I hit the first hurdle I am a little bit shorty beady as you guys know, so when I jump, I fall down with the hurdle together And that is not the most humiliating stuff It was the guy that I have a crush on He was sitting in the audience like looking at me And all I did was ah! I have a swelling on my head, like the cartoon type of swelling. That's probably the last time that I see him ever again. Okay, after adjusting the elastic straps, it shows my TD a little bit less. That's good enough for me, I think. Now I'm going to move on with the skirt first because obviously I need extra fabric for the top. So for the skirt, you basically need to just measure based on your waist. Now I'm going to do straight stitches on the marking first because I want to know how it's gonna fit on me. I, obviously I test it on first before I cutting it. Um, I just don't show it because I'm just too lazy to do that. The only thing left is elastic band on my waist area. So I'm basically going to do the same thing like how I do the sleeve area. <laughs> Easy. Fold the fabric outside in, seal the edge. Well of course I didn't seal up completely silly or else how I'm gonna put the elastic band in. 
For the elastic band, I just measure it based on the waist of mine and just cut it accordingly. Add in 1 inches extra just for allowance purposes. Seal up the elastic band and putting it back into the skirt. Moving back to the top, I used the remaining fabric from the skirt to create a cute tie front section. So I basically cut out a triangle, um, two triangle to connect to the fabric. And then I basically just used a zigzag zone to seal up the raw edges. But the fabric ended up a little bit too much when I tried it on on my body, so I basically cut into a smaller triangle. Filling up the edges and the top is almost done because I'm worried that my titties is going to be exposed to the world so the only solutions that I can think of is to add an elastic band just beneath the breast area but the fabric is kind of too short for me to do that so I use the remaining fabric to form the room of the elastic band and then sew it inside out using my good old handy tools for me to revert it um I will never tell you that I spent the entire afternoon trying to revert this thing before sewing into the existing pieces this is how it looks like current day. All I have to do now is to add in this elastic into the bottom. After adding in the elastic, just seal up the edges and that's basically complete my two-piece dress. I'm done with the outfit. Um, let's go out and take some cute little photo. Oh my god! I see a mask as well. <laughs> I really like how it turned out. If you think that this outfit revealed too much of your skin or you're just much more conservative than me, you can actually wear it another way around whereby you're putting the little tie bow at the back and just wearing the back as your front. It will also be a very cute piece. So yeah, that's all All depends on you guys. And that's basically complete. Wait, what? This is the end of the videos? You're not trying to show them how you look like when you wear the other way around? I think they are able to- Wow, you're just not putting enough effort in your videos. Fine. Are you happy now?